Hey everybody, looks into swirl here. We are going to do another pour today. We're gonna to pour over onto a canvas and what we're pouring over today is this cute little fairy house that I found at Dollar Tree this morning when I was there for essential items. I noticed fairy houses too. I've already done one. I will link to that below so you can see how that one came out. That one was done with one of the ready mix pouring paints. Uh, probably Artist Loft, but I can't say for sure. I don't remember. Uh, but this time we're going to use paints that I've mixed myself, which means they're going to be a little thicker. And we are going to pour over and see what we get. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. And that means we need at least 6.25 ounces of paint. And um, the last one I did ended up out in my garden. I have some garden planters outside. So this one will too. I'm excited to see what we get. So let's just get going, layering a cup. Put that off to the side for a moment. Here is what we're gonna be using today. Uh, Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green, La Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue, uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Green, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt, Artist Loft Deep Magenta, and Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Yellow. And most of these, it looks like, have been mixed. Well, they've all been mixed one-to-one, -one, paint with pouring medium. Uh, some of them are Liquitex pouring medium. Some of them are Floetrol. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna have at it because I want a new fairy garden house for my planter. So that's the metallic cobalt. A lot of greens and blues, my favorites. This is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Green. And this is yellow. Let's be dramatic. I'll mix in a little gold just because. Somewhere here. Oh, yes. Ooh, ooh. Here's the dramatic one I was thinking of. I'll just, just have one shot of black. This is also Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. All right, that's probably enough, but just to make sure, we can always put some white around the corners.
Okay, Let's see if I can get it off here without too much damage. That'll keep flowing, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, it's an interesting pattern. Wasn't really expecting anything in particular because it's not an even symmetrical house. Very pretty though. And now we tilt. some pattern in there. Let's see if we can hang on to some of it. there. Well, that's certainly interesting. Let's torch again. And now I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Time for our close-up. Let's start with our house. Here's our little fairy house, which is a very dark green now. Very pretty though. I don't know if you can see the detail. There we go. There's the other side. Very pretty. And here's our painting. Lower left hand corner. Across the bottom. Lower right. Up the right hand side. I love the metallic blues in the middle. We definitely got some patterns from the house. I love this corner. Upper right hand corner. Across the top. That's beautiful there. Ooh. Upper left. And down the left hand side. Let's take a look at the entire thing. There you have it, folks. A new house for my garden and a new painting for the wall. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.